mga kawawmat, in this video, we will recall addition and subtraction of similar fractions and we will add and subtract rational algebraic expressions with like denominators. So, we will focus on rational algebraic expressions with like denominators. So, how do we add and subtract similar fractions? So, in adding similar fractions, we will add or subtract the numerator, then we will copy the denominator. Next is simplify if possible. So, pag sinabi natin simplify, ito yung tinatawag nating lowest term. Okay? So, let us have an example. So, I have 2 fourths plus 1 fourth, so 2 plus 1. Uh, that is 3, and then copy the denominator, so we have 3 fourths. Another example, I have 4 minus 2, so that is 2, and then copy the denominator, that is 6. Now, we can still get the lowest term of 2 over 6 using the GCF of 2. So, 2 divided by 2, so that is 1, and then 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, therefore, the lowest term is 1 thirds. Next. So, I have 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So, we have 4 and then 5. Okay, so the answer is 4 fifths. Next, 3 minus 2, that is 1. And then, copy the denominator, that is 6. So, 1 over 6. So, how do we add and subtract rational expressions with like denominators? Okay, bakit kailangan nating i-recall yung process ng pag-add and subtract ng rational numbers? Kasi kung paano natin siya ginagawa, yun din ang ginagawa natin sa rational expressions na may parehong denominators. Okay, so how do we do this? So, first, add or subtract the numerator. Next, copy the common denominator. Next is factor the numerator and cancel out or divide the common factor, then simplify. Let's have an example or illustri uh, representation. So, if I have here A over C plus B over C, so we will add the numerator, kagaya na sinabi sa ano natin, steps. So, we will have A plus B over C. Now, if you have subtraction naman, so you just have to subtract A minus B over C. Now, remember that your C should not be equal to 0 kasi magiging undefined siya, okay? And then, remember also that your A over C and B over C should be rational expressions, okay? Let's have an example. So, I have here 2A over 4B plus 3 over 4B. So, first step, add the numerator. So, we will have 2A plus 3. Next, copy the common denominator. What is the denominator? So, since pareho naman sila, so we will have 4B. Now, factor the numerator if possible. Kung kaya pa siyang i-factor. If not, then proceed to the next step, which is simplify. So, since wala naman tayong factor out, so therefore, 2A plus 3 over 4B is our final answer. Next. I have 10C over 13 plus 6C over 13. So, we will have add the numerator. So, we will get 26C because 10C plus 16C is equal to 26C. And then, copy the common denominator that is 13. So, we will have 26C over 13. What is the next step? Factor the numerator. So, ano ba ang uh, pwede nating gamitin or yung ano niya, uh, factor ng 26C na kung saan pwede, nating, pwede tayong may ma-cancel out? So, we can have 13 times 2C. Okay? Kasi 13 times 2, that is 26 and then C. Over 13, so now, we can now factor. Uh, cancel out or divide 13. So, 13 and yung 13 natin sa denominator, makakancel na. So, we will simplify. What's left is 2C. Next, I have 8D minus 3 over 9 plus 4D plus 12 all over 9. So, next first step is add the numerator. So, we will have 8D minus 3 Pagsasamahin lang natin siya, i-combine natin, plus 4D plus 12. Okay, and then copy the common denominator which is 9. Next step is we will combine similar terms. So, magko-combine tayo ng similar terms since pareho tong D. So, 8 
plus 4, that is 12D. And then negative 3, ito pareho silang constant, and 12, that is 9. So therefore, we will have 12D plus 9. And then, copy your denominator. Okay? Now, Next is you have to factor the numerator. So, uh, saan natin siya pwedeng i-factor by 3. Okay? So, we can factor this uh, binomial using 3. Okay? So, we will have 4D plus 3. Kasi 3 times 4, that is 12D. And then 3 times 3, that is 9. Okay? All over 9. Okay? Now, we can cancel out 3 and 9. This is 1 and this is 3. So, therefore, simplify your answer. We will have 4D plus 3 over 3. Kasi meron tayong 3 dito. Next. So, I have here 9X squared over 3X minus 5 minus 25 all over 3X minus 5. So, first... Subtract the numerator. Okay. In subtracting the numerator, since nasa subtract na tayo, tatandaan na kapag ang operation na natin ay subtraction, we are changing the signs of our subtrahen. So, ito siya ha. Hindi porket uh, may minus dito, ayan na yun. Okay. So, ito, since positive siya, ang mangyayari, we will have 9x squared. Ito, yung positive 25 mo, ito na siya. Okay? So, remember that in subtracting, kapag nagsusubtract na tayo, change the sign of your subtrahend. So, kung meron ka pang isang term dyan, papalitan mo rin yung sign nun. Okay, next. Copy the common denominator. So, I have here 3x minus 5. So, we will copy. Next is factor. Okay. So, 9x squared minus 25 is an example of difference of 2 squares. Okay. So, therefore, pag uh, finactor natin to, ang kalalabasan nito is sum and difference. Okay. So, pag in-squared natin to at in-squared natin, so we will have 3x plus 5 and 3x minus 5. Kasi 3 times 3, that is 9x and x, x squared, and then 5 times 5, that is 25. And then, copy the denominator. Now, after uh, you factor the numerator, anong next step? Cancel. Okay? You can now cancel or divide. So, what's left is we have 3x plus 5. Next. So, I have here 9y squared all over y minus 2 minus y squared plus 16y all over y minus 2. So, first step, subtract the numerator. Since sabi ko nga kapag subtraction, anong gagawin? So, we will change the signs of our subtrahend. So, ito ang subtrahend natin. Pag sinabing subtrahend, yung pangalawa. Okay? So, ito ang subtrahend natin. So, kung positive to magiging negative. Kung positive siya, magiging negative. So, we will now have 9y squared. Copy nyo lang yung ano nyo, binuwin o yung nasa unahan. And then, magiging minus y squared minus 16y. So, since ang operation na natin ay subtraction, change the sign of your subtrahend. The signs of all your subtrahend. So, papalitan natin yan. And then, copy your common denominator. So, we have y minus 2. So, now, we will combine similar terms. Okay, so since parehot naman silang y squared, so 9 minus 1, that is 8y squared minus 16y. So, hindi natin ito pwedeng i-combine doon kasi this is only on the uh, first degree. Okay, and then copy your denominator. Now, factor. So, saan natin pwedeng i-factor ito? By 8. Okay, by 8y. So, paano ba kinukuha yung kung saan natin ipa-factor? Okay, hanapin mo yung uh, pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. So, since 8, ayan, pwede, yun ang pwede mong gamitin. And then, kukunin mo yung pinakamababa ang exponent. So, that is 1. Okay, and then 8y times y. So, that is 8y squared. And then, 8y times negative 2, that is negative 16y. So, copy the denominator. We can now cancel y minus 2. So, therefore, we will have 8y. Next. 
I have h squared plus 8h minus 15 all over 3h squared minus 9h minus 4h plus 6 all over 3h squared minus 9h. So, first step, subtract the numerator. So, ang gagawin natin, copy your first, uh, your minuend. Kokopyahin lang natin yan. Wala tayong gagalawin dyan. And then, minus. So, 4h plus 6. Ito yung subtrahend natin. Okay? So, we will change the sign of our subtrahend. So, copy your first, uh, your minuend. So, ito pa rin siya. And then, ito, positive magiging negative. Positive magiging negative. Okay? And then, copy your, the common denominator, which is your 3h squared minus 9h. So, we will now have combined similar terms. So, meron ba ditong pwedeng pagsamahin? So, si h squared, wala siyang kapareho. Ito, si 8h natin at si 4h, pwede. So, we will have 8 minus 4. So, we will have h squared plus 4h, kasi 8 minus 4, that is 4. And then, negative 15 minus 6, so that is negative 21. Okay? And then, copy the denominator, which is 3h squared minus 9h. Now, factor. So, ito ay, this is an example of a general trinomial. Okay? So, hahanap, hahanap tayo ng factor ni 21 na kung saan pag kinuha natin ang sum niya, ang magiging result is 4. Okay? So, we will have h plus 7 and times h minus 3. Okay. Kung medyo nakalimutan kung paano gawin ito, paano i-factor, pwede nyo balikan yung mga previous uh, video natin para uh, maalala at ma-recall kung paano mag-factor ng general trinomial. Okay. So, now we have h plus 7 times h minus 3. All over 3h times h minus 3. So, bakit 3h? Kasi this is the common factor. Okay? Common monomial factor. So, 3h times h, that is 3h squared. And then, 3h times negative 3, that is negative 9h. So, anong gagawin na natin ngayon? We can now cancel h minus 3. So, what is our answer? So, we have h plus 7 all over 3h. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.